Hello everyone. So here is a makeup get ready with me. I have not done one of these in years. So let's get started. Born This Way Foundation. It's incredible. Okay, so it's super liquidy when it goes on, but it dries matte and it just looks amazing. Um, I accidentally came across this because I typically use their foundation, um, not their foundation, sorry, their concealer. Um, their under eye concealer and I ended up purchasing um, this while thinking it was that concealer. Turns out it was a foundation. I really ended up liking it. Um, it just goes on really well. It's pretty full coverage and very happy with it, honestly. Um, and yeah, you're probably wondering why does she use her hands? Well, I actually really like the way that my skin helps warm it up before applying it to my face, like my fingers. Just a preference, honestly. I have brushes, I have beauty blenders, but I just prefer to use my fingers, so here we are. Now moving on to the eyebrows. Um, so a little story about the eyebrows. Um, I actually use an angled brush, but also I dip it in, um, you didn't really see it on camera, but I dip it in um, finishing spray. And so I just get a little bit of spray, put it on there and then put it into the brown um, powder that I get actually. It's a, um, a little makeup kit I, get, I got from Big Lots. Make sure to brush the eyebrows. Yeah, so a lot of my makeup isn't actually that expensive. Um, you can do affordability on this. That's actually the Nikita Dragon palette that I'm not that big of a fan on. I just kind of have it and will use it until it's done with, but wouldn't really recommend necessarily. And then of course my contour, um, just following my natural cheekbone shape. And um, I think the blush when I follow it up with that really helps uh, enhance my face. And then of course this is important, which is like really cleaning up the brows. Um, I kind of just keep it under my eyes until I'm done with um, just cleaning up the area underneath by outlining my brow. And then see, that's like the amazing Born This Way concealer. I swear it's so good. Please ignore the fact that there's a black smudge on my face. I actually get that in a second. <laughs> there we go. Just keep blending. Blending is so crucial for this look. Um, but yeah, I really love the full coverage that the Born This Way cosmetics just, they do. It's actually inspiring me to look more into them. Um, very, very happy with that. So and then addressing my eyebrows again, so nothing too crazy, dancing a little bit. I was actually listening to a webinar as I was getting ready, so. Okay, so this stuff, this Dermablend setting powder, I don't even know what it's fully called. Went to Ulta, needed one, um, a setting powder, and one of the ladies recommended this, and I am obsessed. I love it. Um, really, really inc incredible coverage, and the mattifying, it's immediate, and it lasts all day. I kid you not, you know, it's it's a really, really incredible um, product. Here I am uh, <laughs> just contouring my nose slightly. I don't do this all the time, but when I do, um, it's actually really funny to watch. But there we go. Now we're going to do the blush just right above the contour, always like sweeping up, I guess. Highlighter for them cheeks. And uh, yeah, so I think the thing that takes the most time um, is me digging for my brushes and stuff because I don't have a system and it's very unorganized. It's just thrown into that bag that's on my lap. <laughs> um, but like I said before, blending is so crucial. This is one of my favorite things to do. This has actually stayed pretty consistent since um, I last did this video. I want to say that was like in 2012. Um, but I like a brown on my um, in my crease and then to do on my lid, just some sparkle. Um, don't even know that palette is so old, but like I said, um, this is just what I do. I'm not saying that you should do as I do. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is a black eyeshadow that I'm putting on my lid, and that is actually also from like, um, I wanna say it was that beauty supply store in North Park. It's probably like three bucks, honestly. Um, and then if you hear hammering in the background, that's because they're doing some construction upstairs, so don't mind that. Um, but yeah, I actually prefer to do that as a base and then go in with black eyeliner and then really just kind of darken it up. 
um, and then throw on some mascara to help because obviously my lashes have probably been hit with some foundation or whatever. They're a little bit light, so I have to re-darken them. And then um, from there, I'm probably, oh yeah, I love this, um, how dark this stuff is. So good. All right, with my rice cooker in the background. <laughs> So these lashes are amazing, Mesmerize. Um, they're made custom by my girlfriend, Charlene. She has um, an incredible collection and, of course, support local. I used to work with her at Flux, and she's just very, very talented. Very proud of her for starting her own business. Very cool. And then I'm using Duo. And then, yeah, I actually press down when I'm getting my lashes off so that they don't rip. Um, I just gently press down with the side of my thumb so that it's a little bit easier to remove it from the packaging. And then blow for your life. Honestly, like this is the most annoying part. I used to use hair glue. Don't judge me. Okay, my fairy drag mother got me into that. Um, but with Duo, you actually have to blow on it for a while. It's kind of frustrating. Um, you can use a hair dryer just to make it more tacky. But just so that it doesn't move when it's on your eyeball, that's super, super critical um, to have it. See, it's even a little bit more wet than I would like it to be. But yeah, and then she's feeling herself clearly. And yeah, when I am applying my lashes, I really just kind of grab them by the tips, um, usually in the center part, and then just shove them on. I've honestly just gotten so good at them. It takes me like seconds. Um, but yeah, and then I go in, put my eyeliner on on the bottom waterline, I guess what they call it, no, but I think that's more in the waterline's interior. This is below the waterline. And then a little bit more concealer. Yeah, and then um, look how dirty that palette is, oh my God. Um, but yeah, so then I'm probably gonna go back in there and throw in, yep, thought so. Um, so that's the Derma Blend stuff again, and again, super highly recommend that. I just wanted to lighten it just ever so slightly so I didn't a second layer. And that's pretty much my look. I mean, honestly, so then I throw on a little bit more mascara, I believe. Yep. And, um, yeah. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to write them below. And uh, yeah, I'm actually gonna do a live stream right now. This is what I was getting ready for. So I will catch you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.